Hi everyone, this is Ravi Gupta. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I will be discussing how we can register one microservices to the Eureka client or Eureka server. So Eureka server is something where we can register our microservices and it is also known as, as a microservice discovery. So why we are using the Eureka? Okay, so we'll tell that thing. So Eureka, what is Eureka first of all and uh, why we are using it and how we can use it. So Eureka is an application that holds the information about all the client service applications or we can say every microservices will register to the Eureka server and Eureka server knows all the client application running on each port and the IPs of each of the client that is registered to the Eureka. So why we are using Eureka? So Eureka is used to register the microservices so that we can see all the information about the microservices, which microservices is registered or not. And if it is registered, what is its port number? What is the IP and what is the name of the microservices? So we can manage the status of the services if it is registered to the Eureka. So that is why we are using it and how we will be using it. I'm just going to develop a couple of microservices and one Eureka server and then try to register those microservices to the Eureka server. So I will be telling you all those things. So let's get started. I will just open my IntelliJ and then we'll try to add. Uh, we'll try to create some microservices and try to register those services to the Eureka server. So we'll do that. So let it be open and then <coughs> we'll do those things. So here I will be creating some simple microservices. Okay, not going to connect to the database and to uh, try to add each and every thing. So I'm just simply creating the microservices and uh, one, I will create one API and try to see if the service is working or not. So that will be the architecture of the service that I'm going to create now. So let's come to the location called project and then we'll try to see. <coughs> Here, microservice, microservice one. Okay. Now it is already there. Okay, not a problem. Microservice one, Eureka. Microservice was one client, I would say. And if uh, some microservice is uh, going to register with the Eureka server, then it should have some uh, starter dependencies. So first of all, because this is a microservice and it's a basic uh, microservice I'm going to develop. So I'm just going to include the Spring Web okay and for registry with the eureka server we need some uh, other dependency like eureka, eureka discovery client so this two dependency i'm just going to take now and just create this service okay i'm just going to create the second service Okay, uh, same dependency we need. Eureka discovery client, create it. I'm just going to create, now I'm just going to create the Eureka service. Eureka service microservice i would say microservice service server uh it should have something uh, different eureka server it is it should have not a eureka discovery client okay so that thing let it all open and then we'll try to uh, see so what I have did, I just created two services. One is, uh, two are the basic microservices and one is the Eureka service. 
or Eureka server. So how we'll create this service uh, microservice as a Eureka server. So we need to make couple of configuration here. As similarly for the other services to register with this service, we need to make some couple of configuration. Okay. So I'm just going to open it. Uh, let it build first. Okay, just let go to the first serv server, uh, ser sorry, microservice that I've created. Just open it. Okay, why it is not opening in the form of uh, Maven project? Let me close and reopen. What about the second one? Same thing, okay, not a problem. Let me open the first one first and then. So, where it was inside uh, E, inside project, and then microservice one client, open it, new window. It's taking some time, but yeah, it's okay. So here you can see it is asking for Maven build script found load Maven project. Going to load it similar way I will do it for the second one also and then close and open again and the service also. Close the service, one is open. Second one, you need to close it. Okay, first one is open. Yeah, it is looking fine. Now open the second one microservice to client and the Eureka server. Mm, my Eureka server, it should be up. Eureka service, microservice server, yeah. No. Uh, load a Maven project. And here it should be asking. Yeah, and load a Maven project. Yeah, so that is all done. Now, just uh, I'm going to create one simple API and see if this uh, service is working fine or not. So, here I'm just going to annotate it as the REST controller in the main class only. I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to create any uh, controller class or any service things. I'm just keeping it simple. Okay, so. Let me create one get mapping. Say hello. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And then We'll create one mass map method called get and it should return something like microservice one. So yeah. And I'm just going to make some configuration here. Server dot port. That should be nine zero nine one. And try to run it and see if it is working or not. Okay. Mm, something is down.
some exception we are getting okay it is asking to register with the Eureka server first and then we'll try to connect okay okay just wait what is this okay let me close this one first of all I'm going to the Eureka server okay and then try to make some configuration here and try to up this server first so enable Eureka server we need to do and uh, I'm going to make as a server dot port so guys uh, this Eureka server is default port is 8761 I'm going to use that only and I just want that this server don't register itself to the Eureka server okay so for that we need to make some configuration so it should be Eureka dot client registry with Eureka okay it should be false and similar way for the Eureka client fetch registry it should also be sorry Eureka client fetch registry it should be false okay and we don't want any time delay while we are registering the services to the Eureka server so for that we have one configuration Eureka server wait time in MS yeah that should be zero now I will try to uh, run this and make it up and then see so if it, it will be up then we can see that uh, the Eureka server will be available on the port number 8761 locally so I'm just going to do that local hot 8761 so here you can see it is up okay so Eureka server is up and no service is registered here so I'm just going to make some changes into the uh, what I would say the service 1 and service 2 so that we can register it to the Eureka server so for that we need to make some configuration here so first of all I'm going to just name these services as a microservice 1 and the microservice 2 so for that I'm going to uh, do this configuration let it be microservice 1 and uh, we need to activate or we need to uh, uh, register it locally so for that we need to do some Eureka instance host name as a local host and uh, now I will try to run it and then see if it is working or not so our Eureka server is up I made some changes into the or made some configuration into the application one or uh, microservice one so that we can register it to the Eureka so I will just try to see if it is uh, registered there or not so earlier we can see no application or nothing here you can see in the application no instance is available now uh, the applic microservice one is up okay and here you can uh, go and refresh it and then see if it is registered or not so I'm just going to refresh so here you can see with the name microservice one one service is registered and it is up on 9091 so here also you can check the port number of this service is 9091 right so I think registry for the one is good similar similar configuration we also need to make into the microservice 2 to register okay so I'm just going to do the same thing so uh, it should be in the application dot properties file sorry guys and just uh, I'm just going to change the port 9092 it should be microservice 2 and localhost yeah and just try to run it and then see if it is how it is going if it is up successfully then it uh, it should also be registered to the Eureka server so let it be up yeah it is up on 9092 and uh, we can come here and refresh it yeah you can see microservice 2 on 
port number 9092 is up and registered to the Eureka server. So this is how we can register one service or we can register a couple of services to the Eureka server. So first of all, we need to make the Eureka server up. Second, we need to make some changes into the microservice one and micro uh, on other couple of microservices that you want to register. And then we can register it to the service. Okay. So I will just uh, like we were doing something here, right? I was just creating one API so that we can check this application is up or not. So if you want to do something like that, you can do otherwise. Yeah, this is a simple one. Okay. I'm not going to create uh, the DAO layer, the service layer or the controller layer. I just wanted to demonstrate how we can register one service to the Eureka server. Okay. So that is the thing guys. So it is uh, successfully registered. So I'm just going to summarize the things that you need in the case you want to register any service or any microservice to the Eureka server. So first of all, one service you need to create with the name Eureka server and it should have the configuration something like that. And uh, the basic thing is it should be having the Eureka server starter dependency into its pom.xml and those services which you want to register to the Eureka server, it should have something some configuration like this and uh, the pom.xml should having the discovery client Eureka discovery client starter dependency and then uh, you are good and then you can simply start those application and try to register with the Eureka server. So here you can see finally it is registered to the Eureka server. So those services are here you can see okay and the, <coughs> the Eureka server is for this thing only for the service discovery guys. So I think it is working fine and thanks for the support keep subscribing the channel and i will be making such a video such uh, such contents uh, so that it can help you in your development so thanks for the support guys